What up, y'all? Welcome back. I got Kerwood here, and we're gonna join this mystery booster draft league. Oh, we got to seven real quick. I was surprised yesterday that uh, we did better in our in our five color draft than we did in our green black draft. I was surprised. You're clearly unfazed. Nothing phases Kerwood. Well, I'm not real, so. Well, you can't be phased if you're not real. That's right. Being phased is a, a very specific quality to being real. Yeah. 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 Earlier, I what I think is most people's worst cat fear. I was walking down the stairs and the cat ran up under my leg. Oh, you're going to die. And I accidentally sent the cat down the stairs. It was only two stairs and he bounced right back up and started playing like it was a game. But I, Oh, see, I would have thought the other thing were like, there's been plenty of times where a pet gets under my feet. And because... Uh, I put so much value on animal lives that like I would sooner die and kill myself than like hurt the animal. It's like if, if like there's a, an animal in the road like a dog or a squirrel or a cat or something and like you don't see it till the last minute but you swerve and risk your own life just to not hit it. Is this gamer goo? That is uh, that's actually a company that, that, that doesn't that doesn't around anymore. I think, uh, oh, if, because one of the guys that I used, uh, that worked at Mixer, one of the co-founders started up a company called Gamer Goo, and I'm wondering if this is it. No, he's so quick, I can't react fast enough, we haven't made close calls, and I've straight up fallen in the snare. Yeah, that's it, like, like, he'll go under my feet real quick, and then I'll have to move my foot so that I'm not stepping on him, and then I end up falling, because I'm like, oh, cool. Thanks, cat. Because they don't give, they don't care. This pack is bananas, holy smokes. Krenko Mob Boss, real good. Mm. Archetype of Endurance, MVP yesterday. Back. Brimstone Dragon, 6-6 six, six Flying Haste. That guy's cost 8, though. Even Goblin Assault is basically just red Bitter Blossom. Or, like, is this Goblin Rabble Master before it was Rabble Master? Oh, yeah. And then Bailoth Null is just fantastic. Just getting back two creatures with a, on a big body. Or Rant of Hemron. This pack is actually insane. You don't want to take that Mishra's bottle? <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't think so. No. Yeah. There's just something about it that doesn't impress me. I kind of want to take the Null and maybe Farsi comes back. You don't want to do Cranko? I do want to do Cranko, but there's so many good red cards in here. Yeah. Cranko's still real good, though. Like, I mean, if you go Cranko, you pretty much got to go Goblins. Well, the thing is, he can make his own. Like, he That's, first makes one, yeah. then he makes two, then he makes three. Like, he does. But, yes, again, like, even this card is really good. Mm -hmm. You flash this in as a 4 1. And whenever it's dealt damage, you draw any cards, so you block their 3-3 three, three and draw 3. Hmm. Oh, God. I'm going to take the Null. I just think it's too good. Look, they're just going to draft the same deck as yesterday. The Boom Pile's back. Oh, my God. Animate Dead actually seems pretty good. I, I would take this, but I think the odds of us getting enough A, enough artifacts, and B, like, the Sword of the Meek seems pretty low. It's got to be in here, though, right? I assume they wouldn't put one without the other. But how big is this set? Let's actually confirm. I mean, they did put one with nothing in here, so they are clearly jerks. There's 1,700 cards in this set. Wait, 1,694. That's insane. How are we seeing the same rare twice if it's like the 1,600 cards? I don't see the same rare twice in a 200 card set. Yeah, I don't know. I want to take anime dead. Cool. Dude. <laughs> okay, oh, that's man. weird, right? Are I, they the same, like, four packs? I don't think Wizards knows how to do correctly do randomization. <laughs> okay, that's that's really weird. We've seen this twice in two drafts out of a 1,600 card set. That seems really weird. I wonder if Boom Pile comes back. I have no idea how good it is. Reflector Mage is good. When it enters Battlefield, mill, car mill three cards and gain three. This is a 3-2. It gets It's a 4-3 four four Menace if you have Delirium. Delirium is seven oh, cards in your graveyard. Oh no, this isn't. This is. I thought this was a fighty card. Delirium is when you have four different card types. Okay. You don't want to try and go helix. Pinnacle. I have the same complaint. And that's why I'm not drafting. I keep. No, we're not doing it twice. <laughs> God, I think it's just long shot squad. This guy's fine. That seems good. Gets counter. He's got reach. Whatever. It's not super exciting, but. Yeah. Weird. Gut shot. You don't even have to pay red mana for it. That's true. Eh. Imagine if Gutshot was Storm. Was Storm? 
That's just Grape Shot. Yeah. But for zero mana? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That would be actually be insane, because then you can play back-to-back -back gut shots. Yep. I'm just going to take the Abzan Charm. Cool. I think it's just too good, right? I think you have to take gut shot for the memes. I, I'll never do that. I tried. It didn't work. Tefri's puzzle box. Ooh, they got the dreadnought came back. Oh, I guess it didn't come back. That we saw that one yesterday. Sunlance could be good. If we're doing white now. No. Treacherous terrain, eight mana. Deals damage equal to an opponent. To each opponent equals the number of lands that player controls. Okay, that's... I mean, this is just a land cycler. That's all I would use this for. Yeah. None of these cards are any good. Bell Bay's Portal. Dude, take the take the Sun Lance. I think it is just Sun Lance, actually. I mean, Treacherous Terrain is kind of just like rampant growth. But it doesn't Ooh, put it into play. Kieran. Okay, well, I thought that was better than it was. Bonds of Faith is fine. If it's a if the creature's a human, it gets plus two plus two. If it's not, it can't attack or block. I feel like we're heavier white now. Yeah. It's just funny because we have one of each color. What about strength and numbers? Nah. It's all right. I wish if yeah. I wish it got trample. I think it's just this. This is like a removal. It does get trample. This guy's what does it? No. Oh, it, oh, it says it first. That's weird. It does get trample. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Plus two, plus two, and flying and vigilance. Mm -hmm. uh, or one seven. Huh? Ooh. Two, two for three. When it enters the battlefield, if a permanent you control this battlefield, draw a card. That's fine. I kind of like this. It's either this or this. Man, I'll take this. It's got reach. You ever had reach before? Yeah, reach is good. Jingle, jingle. It's kind of like having half a flying. <laughs> what do we get? Which one controls more lands and you search your library for three planes cards? Yeah, that's what you want. It's not bad. Doom Traveler could be good too. Doom Traveler's fine. Elements of Rising Third Land becomes a 4 4. Okay, sure. And they got Ward Eye Witch. Yeah. I think Gift of Estates is fine. Cool. Draw three planes. Depends on if we have any, how many planes we have, I guess. Yeah. Dude, the Mishra's Bible came back. <clears throat> Typical. Hyena Umbra. This card's good. Permanent damage, then make a 2 2. Get that fog. Butcher's Glee. Uh, three, plus three plus so regenerate and lifelink. Okay, so I think we're definitely white. Oh, Knight of the Skyward Eye seems good. Yeah. That's just a solid 2 2. The boom pile came back. 1 2. Hunter's Battlefield created an 0 1 for each white mana symbol. For your, what, for, for your devotion to white. I'm just taking this sweet 2-2. Two, two. Uh, choose a color. Draws a card. Protection from the chosen color. Mm. Rogue? Eh, I don't want to play Rogue's Passage in a three-color deck. What Pokemon best represents me? Definitely Snorlax. This is a picture of Watson when I put the glasses on his butt. <laughs> you don't like this? It's good. This is a nose. This is a little tail, but it's really a nose. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Just making sure. Oh, Watson. Soul summons. Oh, wow. Sacrifice to give a creature negative one, negative one until end of turn. <laughs> For five mana. What a deal. Yeah, I'll take this idiot. If we, if we draft some more spirits, though. 
You it's could true. use its, its soul shift That's ability. That's true. You could shift the souls. Oh, Burger King app is like, hey, what up? Yo, you haven't been to Burger King in like a year. Dude, it's been like three weeks. If that. I think it's been probably a week and a half. I go to Burger King pretty regularly now that they have Impossible Meat. That's fair. Impossible Whoppers and they have the new uh, breakfast sausage. Ooh. Look, strength and numbers came back. Bam. That's what you always wanted. What aspect of Japanese culture do you think America could benefit most from? I mean, the different aspects of Japanese culture, like the things that really set them apart is the more like focus on uh, the group as opposed to the individual, which has some benefits, right? They, they really seek to not like disrupt um, the, uh, the, the public peace, but that also comes with its own downsides. So it's, it's really hard to say. Do we have a lot of humans? We don't have many humans, right? Probably like three. That seems actually high. I think we have literal one. I don't know why I said three. It's a fairy conclave. Why not blue? Uh, I think it's actually Thorn of the Black Rose here again. Am I Amish Mike now? Being the monarch is a good deal. That sounds good. Remember being the monarch yesterday? Yeah, I do. 5-5 five, five for 6. At the beginning of your end step, choose a creature card in an opponent's graveyard. That player chooses a creature card in your graveyard. You may return those cards to the battle for another... Mm. Uh, not really. Pacifism seems fine. <laughs> Flesh to dust is fine. It's 5 mana. Destroy a creature. Pacifism is 2 mana. Kind of, get, kind of get rid, gets rid of a creature. Or Gustwalker, which is really good. Whenever you exert... Oh, you may exert. Yeah, so he's just a 2-2 two, two for 2, but then every other turn he can attack for 3 in the air. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Maybe one of these remov removals comes back. Lil Gusty. Like, we played against this guy, too. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Oh, Unflinching Courage seems bananas. Also, Dawn Glow Evoker was... Dawn Glow Evoker is real good. Tap all creatures, target player controls for 8 mana. Unless they have a removal spell, this just basically means they can't win the game. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to take Unflinching Courage, though, because this card's very good. Tramp. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, I wish I could take this Karthus, but I'm not going into a fourth color. Glittering Wish. See, here's the thing about Limited. I'm just going to play all the cards <laughs> that are good. Smiting Helix. Black Wood Sorales. 4 3 for 4. It gets plus 1 plus 1 and Trample. So it's a 5-4 for four, 4 if we have Delirium. I like Smiting Helix, actually. I wish... I mean, Nimble maybe mongoose? we can get a way to... What? Nimble Mongoose is good. I don't know how frequently we're going to have 7 cards in our graveyard, so it just ends up being a 1-1. One, one. Hmm. I think it's actually Smiting Helix. Okay. Four, 3 damages. Even Lightning Helix for, for 4 is still good. Yeah, and if we can find a... A red, like a way to splash a red, then... Yeah. <clears throat> Sliver Hive Lord. I th these are the same packs we opened yesterday, right? Like The rares are definitely uh, <laughs> Dark Ritual. Maybe it's a 1600 card set, but they only have 14 rares. Yeah. Coalition Honor Guard's real weird. You know what these... You know the, you know, are you familiar with Flag, bear, flag Bearers? Yeah. One of our opponents is a target part. Control ability to control that player. Must oh. If they play a spell that targets something, they have yeah. to always target this first. Interesting. It is kind of interesting. Manglehorn's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm just taking the Coalition Honor Guard. Like, just being able to take the... Like, the target off anyone's back is pretty good. Sweet Michael Bees. Michael Bees. If I only get one topping for a burger, what is it? Ooh. Cheese? My mom. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, one topping for a burger? I mean, like, if, if you don't count cheese as a topping, I would go ketchup. That's so weird that, like, I can't imagine ketchup being a topping, though, because it seems like such a necessity. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, murderous compulsion is probably fine here. Mail's good too. You don't want uh, Shizo's death storehouse? <laughs> you asked me this yesterday. I didn't ask you about Shizo's death storehouse. Yeah, you said you don't want to give a creature fear until end of turn. We literally opened this yesterday. But that one only gives it to legendary creatures. What's the other one? I don't know. This is the same one. Are you sure? I'm positive. Can someone in chat confirm? Thank Roll the tape. I'm taking Brian Kibler. Okay. Because this looks literally like Brian Kibler on the left here. Alpha Wolf, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate Abzan guide is real sweet. Yeah. What about this bartered cow? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just taking Abzan guide. That card was great. Salt eye jar. Look at that cat. Oh my god, look at these dogs. Sacrifice creature next time source deal damage to any target prevent that damage. Hmm. First strike unless in, uh, as long as you control another white creature, that seems fine. Champion came back. Are we a better champion deck now? We have one, two, three, nope. Coalition three, Honor Guard. Four, five. Meh. Might as well. Maybe. Gain a life I don't care about. Attacking human gets plus one. Yeah, I'll just take the champion. Hmm. Sprouting through. The pacifism came back? Wow. Okie dokie. People ain't playing white. I'm just taking this nemesis of reason. Actually, I'll take a light and aesthetic. It's a cat monk. It is a cat monk. Look, you're... You don't want glittering wish? Not really. I'm not going to have any gold cards in my sideboard. Oh yeah, become immense. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a big boy. The virtual YouTube channel. Frank, when's your virtual YouTube channel gonna start? I don't up? even know what that means. There you go. Wait, what is Alter's Reap? Oh, no. Actually, Alter's Reap's pretty good. Yeah, I like Alter's Reap. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, just because it's like in response to like a removal, you can sacrifice a guy and draw two. Drawing two is... You know what would have been really funny is if like it put it into your deck and then you drop the other one into your sideboard and you got both? That wouldn't be funny. I'd be concerned about that. That seems exploitable and uh, <coughs> unsafe for a competitive card game. Man, another flashback card that wants... For Lich's Mirror... If you would lose the game, instead shuffle your hand, graveyard, and all permanents you own in your library, then draw seven cards, and your life total becomes 20. Okay. Feldar Guardian. Grasp of Fate. Exile one target, non land permanent. So it's basically just Oblivion Ring. The Blood Rite Invoker. Death Rate Ritual is pretty interesting. At the beginning of each end step, if a creature died, you may draw a card. Jungle Hollow. Is it any creature or just yours? Any creature. That's pretty good. If a creature died. And it's and it's, it's the beginning of each end step, so your turn and their turn. Should we just take that Jungle Hollow? I think so. <laughs> Grasp of Fate's real good, though. Yeah, I'm just going to take the land. It's literally like the only dual land we've seen. I, yeah, out of out of three packs. Ooh, Snapping Sailback is sweet. Abundant Growth. So we're not going to be... We're, like, we're kind of like light green. So if we have the green to fix... Then it's like kind of awkward because we've already. Dude, we could take the volunteer reserves that have banding. I'd actually be surprised if Magic Online knew how to handle banding. <laughs> I'm going to take Snapping Cell back because this guy is great. Boundless Realms. Search library for X lands or X the number of lands you control. Put them on the battlefield tapped. So it literally just doubles your lands. Dude, Dark Steel Garrison? Okay. The only fortified land or uh, fortify card. The fortification, yeah, I've never. That's so weird. Is it literally just the equipment for lands? Yeah. That's wild. Dude, that revered hoplite could be good. Irrevent hoplite, because if he's if he goes comes into play when uh, the champion the parish is in play. Oh, they are humans. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Plus, it's like we actually have a bunch of white cards, so... Yeah. If you get plus two, plus two. I like that five color always has Sliver Lord deck. Watch this on you. Yeah, we just, we just actually passed another uh, Sliver Lord, so...
Sweet Kerwit. What rare do you think we're going to see that we've already seen in this pack? Hmm. I don't know. I can't think of one either. You know, now that you have a non-basic, you're not going to draw your land. I should have just left it. <laughs> Maybe that five-color 8-8 guy from last draft? Yeah, I should have just went 6, six five. That guy's not rare, though. Oh, he wasn't? No, he's just uncommon. Wow. Winding Constrictor. Ooh, Cower in Fear. That's kind of mad, right? Mm. That goes well with Champion of the Parish. And... Longshot Squad. And this. And Snapping Sail back. Eh, maybe it's not terrible. Snap it up. Sure. Oh, this guy can kick for white, which is destroying artifact. Again, if we had a way to kick the red, it'd be great. Roar of the Worm. That sounds good. Huh. Dark Creature gets indestructible for another turn. Why would you need Convoke on a card that has... It <laughs> costs two. Well, because you have to keep mana on tap, right? The Seal of Cleansing. I'll say roar. Yeah. Flare husk could be good too if it if it wheels. Yeah, I'm really surprised at how many like dual lands are in here. You mean how few? Yeah. Oh boy. Eldrazi Monument again. That's insane. And not of this world. This is a dog soldier. Mm hmm. It might be Eldrazi Monument, actually. This card's pretty good. And if we can make a bunch of tokens, then, like. Yeah. Sure, why not? We only have, well, I guess we have a bunch of black cards and, and a bunch of green cards, but we're primarily white here. <clears throat> this card's great. The spawning, <laughs> spawning grounds. What is that? Enchanted Land has created a 5-5 five, five green. What? That seems backbreaking that's got to be it right sounds fun this card's bananas wow that's wild here's a nine nine for eight hmm. or you could have an eight card that just generates you five fives every turn <laughs> uh target oh we know a possible thing guys strike i think the glix gr the glixis the grixis slave driver here yeah probably not playing both of those Oh, back back at the beginning. Um, Felder. Yeah, that seems... I don't know if we have anything blinkable, though. That uh, Reverend Hoplite? Okay, that's one. Baloth Null. Thorn of the Black Rose to regain Monarch. Uh, we can just blink this guy and draw us a card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take Felder. We can also blink Slave Driver to make a 2-2. Mm-hmm. It's actually quite a few interactions. Banding card came back. Sweet. Dude, we haven't seen any ways to generate red mana yet. Or, uh, we've barely seen ways to generate mana of our own color, so... It's true. Uh, blade Brand. Oh, Destroy Creature Flying? Sure. Actually, I'll take the tricky Blade Brand. care about any of these things look I'll take the out of this world this time sweet because you wanted me to yesterday just imagine casting that and destroying all colorless permanents or non-colorless permanents wow that's an insane last pick 
Whenever it attacks another creature gets flying until on the turn. These these are always friggin' bananas. Ballin. So ballin. That slaps. It does slap. I think we're taking out Long Shot Squad. Probably take out Encircling Fissure. Maybe. That card's actually pretty good. It is the ballist. No beats. Why, why is it taking so long to, like, uh, send us back to deck building? There we go. That was Hunter being Grumble City. Uh, let's take out Gift of Estates. That's kind of just cute. How many other humans for champion? A good amount. One, two, three. This also makes humans. Four, five. That's a Kithkin. Six. Looks like six. What does this make? Beasts? Okay. Murder's compulsion good enough? I don't know. Probably not. This is also with like a three drop. Oh, that was weird. Oh, the boys season two is finished. I, I found out yesterday. No, I'm physically here. <laughs> But that's, mentally, it's a camera trick. It's true. Um, do we have any other humans up here? I don't know. Ooh, the banding one. <laughs> oh, it has cumulative upkeep. I'm yeah, like, forget. That. I was like, wow, two four for two. What's the catch? Oh, it sucks. That's the catch. Well, then you had braids of fire. It just pay for itself. Oh wow, that's true. What a deal. I like when they made Braids of Fire and it was like bad. And now it's just also bad. Crazy. Well, I think it was bad. It was bad because like you could still take mana burn, right? Right. But now it's still bad. I still think it's crazy now. But like there's there's like weird ways to like exploit it now. Yeah, but I I don't think that makes it good by any means. It's still kind of it's still kind of poop. It's like something that's like lightning bolt though it kills anything. Yeah, it, it keeps on up. We do have a good amount of rule. We have Bonds of Faith, Pacifism, Sunlance, Murderous Compulsion, Abzan Helix. Charm, Smiting Helix. What do we get from Grixis Slave Driver? Uh, it's 4 4 for 6. When it leaves the battlefield, you get a 2 2, and you can also unearth it. So he can mm. basically make 2. It's like a poor man's Grave Titan. This card seems good. Like, even if you just play this and then. Alpha, you know, like you're still, it's very likely you could just kill them. <sighs> Smiting Hill still seems good for even if you just can't flash it back. Yeah. Are the Titans in this format? I have no idea. Haven't seen them. Maybe Animate Dead? Yeah. I mean, Animate Dead seems like something you'd bring in in certain cases. Yeah. Whereas, like, I mean, we don't even have a ton of ways to kill things. We just, like, pacify or bonds of faith. This card just seems awesome. Like, if, if the format's slow enough, like, getting 9 mana and just playing this mega guy. Imagine you had, like, the uh, elf that untaps forests. Oh, yeah, an arbor elf and just be like, make two five fives. That's pretty, that's gotta be unbeatable, right? 14 creatures, that seems good. <sighs> gotta be one cut. What does Snapping Sailbag give you? It's so a 4 4 for 5 with flash, but then in rage, whenever it's dealt damage, you put a 1 on counter out. Oh. So, like, it just, it, it literally just surprise blocks and then. Dude, too bad you don't have the gut shot. Is it? <laughs> Why? So then I could cut one more card? <laughs> yeah, so then you could, like, uh, do one damage to the sail back to put a plus 1, plus 1 on it. It's good tech. I know, right? It's good tech. So, I got one more land here. Let's see what we want. Sort by color. We should play 41. 
I think I am going to play 41 with 18 lands. This is just five. I actually think it's a green because we do have a double black card or a double green card. Uh, no beats. We did two of these yesterday. I don't know if you've done any before that. No, just went up uh, on Wednesday. And I didn't, I didn't come on Wednesday. <laughs> Bit by a dog with a rabid tooth. All right. Okay. Where's my champion of the parish when you need him? And all right. We're playing against former squid. No longer, a, no longer a squid. I wonder what he is now. Who can say though, you know? Ballynock. What you got? One four, huh? All right. If I play Smiting Helix, can I blink it with Guardian to deal another three? I think you can. Wow. Magic's wild. I kind of want to kill that. I can't, though. I have a sneeze. <laughs> there it is. Here's the one for the day. Lil Sneezy. My mom used to call me Lil Sneezy. Did she? No, I lied to you. <sighs> <laughs> oh man, that that disappointment. Oh. Cool. Cool. You'd be sweet. Tell me. A swamp. I would love a swamp right now. Boy, a swamp sure sounds good. Joke's on you, that was my shitty land anyway. Huh? They what? Oh, they destroyed our forest. Look, I just replaced it anyway. Got him. Oh, here's some tech. You ready for this? Go attack and exert. Get my float on. And then I'm just going to blink it with Guardian so I can float over again. Take that. That one for is surprisingly... Uh, Annoying? Problematic, yeah. Ooh, we could have played Abzan Guide and then blinked it. That would have been a nice... Ooh. Yeah, that would have been some value. Now he's not exerted anymore. Nice and relaxed. Bit by dog. Oh, I have this, uh... I have this Nirvana song stuck in my head. Interesting. Crystal Shard. With no blue. Well, might as well get in there again. With Lil Gusty. Put a negative. Thank you. Wow, that's rude. Actually, well, we get to play Silk Elite now and draw the card, so that's okay. It's real mature. Dingus Egg, thank you for the resub. I really appreciate it, my dude. Ooh, look at that. Bam. The rich get richer. You think they got a fourth color in there? I bet you they do. Typical. Millennials think they could do everything. Super greedy. Oh, good. Target creatures control sacrifice, and that player creates a 5 5 red dragon. Sure, that's pretty good. This must be nice. It starts at 7. All of its things are negative. 
Yeah, except for the zero. But I guess that's kind of a negative unless it's a land. Man, this is wild. Wow. So this makes three one ones. Oh. See, like, he can do that, like, make the 5-5, five, five, like, what, two more times? Yeah. It's crazy. Wait, next time we can just shoot it. We could also just top deck, like, an Eldrazi monument here. That'd be pretty good. Dude, imagine if we had the uh, champion of the in play, and it just got plus four, plus four. 199, come on guys, 200 is much better. I, I agree. But now, 201 is better. 300 is better too. True. Imagine what? What did you say? If we had champion of the parish in play, and it just got four 1-1 one, one counters on it. That would have been good, but it still doesn't beat Acidic Slime or Draggy Boy. True. You know what I'm saying? Little Draggy? Little D? Little Drag? Oh, that's fun. So now they're going to make that a dragon in three one ones. Yeah, it seems like what they're going to do. I feel like we're, uh, I feel like we're not doing well here. That, that seems. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like planeswalkers are really strong, and uh, they kind of warp limited when they're when they're drafted, unless they're drafted in a format like cube where there are appropriate answers. Target opponent discards a card. Sure. When it dies. So next time they can sacrifice that. Except that you can smiting Helix is uh No, oh, I'm definitely getting rid of this. So they're probably gonna attack with this. I don't really want to discard my Abzan guide, so I'll just keep the swamp. You play a land already? No. So you could play a land and then play your Abzan guide. Right, but since they have Crystal Shard, they can return a thing unless I pay one. Oh, yeah. So, that's the same as, like, not playing this. True. I'm definitely watching this later. Two dragons, huh? Well, seems good. Man, apparently making two five fives in limited is pretty decent. I'm no expert, but Oh, they're just gonna bounce their own acidic slime. Seems good. <sighs> yep. Got him. He yeah, doesn't know is, we have a swamp. Yeah, this is frustrating. All right. And we're not dead. We could just block one, but still, the, the, the combination of being able to crystal shard your own acidic slime is pretty, uh, let's say, obnoxious, I think. Obnoxious is the word I'm looking for here. None of these cards also do much. Not of this world. We get rid of all this crap. <laughs> That's not what that does. That just counters a spell or ability that targets oh. a permanent you control. Wait, you're which is the one? You think of all as dust. Oh. Is that what you wanted to take yesterday? Yeah. Because that's a much different card. <clears throat> so I found... I found the watch for like a really good price. Like 300 lower than any other price. But then also with two straps. And the dude was like, oh sorry, I already made a deal. And I was like... Weak. Cool. Okay. That seems good. Yeah, two drop, three drop, other three drop. What are we shipping? Probably Swamp. All right. Fingers crossed. I gotta get a drink after this. My drink is out. Are you getting parched? Yeah, I drink a lot more when I stream, and mostly it's because... 
apparently talking non-stop is uh, thirst-inducing. Little Thirst should be your rapper name. It is. <laughs> Little Hydrate is what they call me. Mm. Let's see if they kill this guy. If so, I'm just going to play Skyweaver Elite. Okay, they didn't. Big Thirst. Yeah, they used to call me old Jimmy Big Thirst. It'd be a little, little Big Thirst. Man, look at this guy again. Dude, that in, uh, encircling fissure would have been good last time. I agree. Get him. Can't really play anything here. <laughs> Medium Thirst. I'm tempted to just play this guy, but I don't think it's great. I mean, I'd rather have a a card off of it. Oh man, again? Cool. I mean, unless he's going to turn his. Uh... Yep, and he is. <laughs> Super cool. Having a good time. Having a good time. Yep, that's pretty good. Wait, Knight of the Skyward Eye doesn't get flying? No, surprisingly. Just plus three, plus three. Still good. Makes it a 5 5, but. Block here, they take three. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. I'm don't feel like it's great to just sacrifice a dude to get Soren down to three. Or two. Oh. He's spinning the wheel. Three mana, okay. Jimmy Big Thirst. They didn't play Chris Android. Interesting. Okay, that's pretty good. Get bonded on. If you put it on the Gust Walker, it could have been 5 5. <laughs> it's true. For one turn. Attack Sarkon the Mad. Alright. Let's see if this actually does anything. There's got to be some sort of trick coming. I feel like there is. They have six cards. They didn't play anything, so... There it is. Yep. Should have probably just actually put two guys at Sarkon. That was probably pretty greedy. Oh, wow. They proliferated, but they didn't put an extra counter on Sarkon. That's actually hilarious. Seems bad. A little bit. Sure. Drew Sprite, Theranax, and Sarkon is dead. And we have six damage in the air here, actually. And then three damage after that. And then six damage after that. I'll get him. Should get him. Yep. You got it. Good old Thrinny. This is eight mana to kick. Okay, so both of those cards. Exert. Uh, yeah. And you can make this guy float away. Bam. 
fan. Seems good. I think this time we might actually have this game. This time. This time. Let's just add this to the old. Watch later. Oh, he scooped. Typical. Typical millennial, am I right? I'm right. You're right. I know. What about uh, Become Immense? It's not terrible. Could use it to get his dragons. I don't feel like we have enough cards to go to the graveyard, though. Yeah. It's the same reason. What was the other card we wanted to play? That. Oh, Nimble Mongoose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I mean, they're just... I feel like they're just unimpressive if you're not, like, really exploiting the graveyard. I need to get a haircut. I feel like this hand with 5 drop, 5 drop, 8 drop is not really where we want to be. Probably not. Mm. Oh, this is better. Got that champion of the parish in there. Could slap a bonds of faith on him. That's actually not bad. I want to send the spider back. Because there's no guarantee we're going to draw green. And this is a human. <laughs> Seems good. I fell into a champion of the parish. Well, that's a thing. The bonds of faith, eh? Well, I'm probably just going to pacify that. No, that's a good call. Pacifist Doom Beetles, uh, just not getting it done. That's a big ass beetle, man. Why has that beetle got such a big butt? What up, big butt beetle? Maybe former squid likes big butts. Triple B's? That guy's good. He's gonna get the one island he put in his deck for his crystal shard. Okay, he got a swamp. Wow. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah? No, I meant the swamp. Well, I'm gonna do this anyway because I'm a maniac. Maniac! Big butt beetles, and that's the way. What? Cool. Boo. Are you saying boo or boo earns? Boo earns. Hmm. Hear what Captain Planet has to say. The power is yours. See, that would have been good to have down last turn. Agreed. Not only would they have had to have target this, but this would have also been a 4-4, four four, so... It's yeah. almost like they had it at the perfect time. Yeah. Oh. Maybe he'll take the forest. I'm hoping... Yes. <laughs> yes. You stupid dummy. You done messed up. If he attacks with the uh, acidic slime, hey, you gonna trade? No. Yeah, maybe he'll sark on your flag bear. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That doesn't say only casting a spell, though, right? Uh, no. Uh, part of casting a spell or, like, an ability. or activating ability. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe Power he. Drop. Maybe he won't notice. Okay. And then just accidentally. What? Don Cheadle's Captain Planet was the best. Yeah, but those were also very funny, so. <laughs> Captain Planet has a band episode? What happens in the band Captain Planet episode? I don't even want to know. My interest is too low for such things. Does Captain Planet attack oh, whaling exciting. ships? Alien ships? No, whaling ships. He, like, joins up with uh, Greenpeace. Do you guys remember that show on Animal Planet? It was, like, the Whale Hunters show. 
What is this? We got a flashy boy. Three, two. Okay. Cool. Are you gonna... Okay, you just cast it. <laughs> For no reason? Cast it. Oh, okay, uh, in blocker step, I'll cast this. Uh, go. Sure. Oh my god, do we just win next? No, five. This is eight damage with monument. Big booty biscuits. Oh, that's... Well, we got one dude back here. Champion of the Parish would be not bad to get back. I think we're actually just attacking with Grixis Slave Driver. And then playing Null. Ooh, and then you can get the Null back. Or, I mean, the uh, Slave the Driver right. back. But also, next turn it lets us play Eldrazi Monument and probably kill them. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, wow. This is... This is just fine. I'm going to leave your Sprouting Thrinax alive because you don't even have a bunch of 1-1s. One -ones. I think we're actually doing very well here. Yep, sure. So now we'll have a 2-2 two -two and a Null. So that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They go to 1. Dang it. You're going to die. Well, it's, it's not lethal, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying about lethal, man? I feel you. The bad guy introduces a drug to the population and turns them into brainless zombies. I do remember that, actually. Or it was like a G.I. Joe episode that did a very similar storyline. We'd like to congratulate drugs for winning the war on drugs. <laughs> oh, Lord. 3 2, 2 2. All right. Boy, this seems real interesting. I feel like a trap is coming. Hmm. You don't want to take out the, uh... I don't trust it. Hmm. I feel like they want it in the graveyard. Or they got, like, a... A pump spell. Yep, that's what it was. Oh! Well, well, well. So you got the mana to cast that? Not yet, but he might have a land in him. Hmm. Yeah, they probably want to just get back a Cidic Slime and then slime our swamp so that we can't cast the Slave Driver who just got back. But you were on to them. I'm on. I, I'm not going to fall for this amateur hour. Sniff that out. Did either of you join D.A.R.E. as a kid? Um, I mean, we had D.A.R.E. like classes in school. I lived in Canada. I don't think we had that. Yeah, because they're... Oh, wow. Blanket. Blanket. What are you going to do? I have five power on board. And if we play Monument, we attack for... Eight. We can sack this guy. Well, you could you could also play the parish. You could sack him. Well, not before. Oh, oh, with these two, you're you're saying, yeah, yeah. interesting. I think it's just slave driver though. Do it. Is this four, eight, nine, ten? This just I mean, like as long as we survive, and we we can monument, and that's pretty much lethal. Eldrazi Monument should give Annihilator. <laughs> okay. Okay. I feel like the monument itself should be indestructible, but I feel like that's probably too good. Yeah. This guy, this old chestnut again, huh? Yep, I'll still take two, unless you want a ninjutsu something here. <laughs> Is, uh... Fallen, Shino or fallen uh, Shinobi in this? <laughs> what is the single most stressful but also helpful experience you two have had together? <laughs> just, 
Jonathan, I fucking love you, dude. You're the freaking best, man. Oh, Lord. I have no idea. I don't think we've had that many stressful experiences. Well, there was that time uh, we drove all your junk from Utah to here. Oh, that's true. That's like the perfect, actually, answer. Yeah, we, me and Kerwit and, and Mike, Mike B., actually drove from Utah when I was living in Utah to Colorado when I moved here. And Kurt was the one who flew down and helped me drive. And uh, it was stressful because obviously you're driving, you know, 10 hours. But then also, like, it was helpful. So I was actually that's actually perfect. Although, to be honest, it was nowhere near as stressful as the drive in February <laughs> where we all almost died. So, sort of quip. Thank you for the bits. I got honked at by a trucker. All right, we're back. I can drive to work in four minutes. I can drive to work in... God, it's got to be like 20 seconds, I guess. I wake up at my work. If I'm coming from the bedroom. Yeah, that's the same. That's why. That's the joke I'm making. God. I take meetings from my bed sometimes. Actually, that happened the other day. I woke up right as a meeting was starting, and I just called in from my phone. It was good. <laughs> it was good. Did you have any meetings today? No. I wasn't supposed to have meetings yesterday. Yeah. Although today will probably be better because the rest of my team is also off today. That flavor I thought was pineapple. It actually says white grape. Do you even do you even fruit? Who's putting white grape in lifesavers when the classic white lifesaver is pineapple? Right? Like if I saw this in a in a pine in a lifesavers gummy bag, I'm gonna be like, oh, pineapple, because that's their flavor. And it says white grape. Give me a break, Mulgum. <laughs> I like you pointed to that. You're like, here's a sad. David, dude, I'm so sorry, man. Although I don't think negative three minutes is accurate because that would mean you gain time by going to work. White grape is the color of your Lambo. <laughs> That's old homeschool Joey. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. You okay? Yes. Your, your silence is deafening. I can't hear what's going on. Whatever that means. Dude, maybe he'll, uh, maybe OP will make us, uh, discard that murderous compulsion. <laughs> That's... They're going to do it when they have no creatures on board and when we don't have black mana. Yeah. You can counter my 2-2? Two -two? Don't counter that. Nobody cares. Ah, oh, weak. Wow, that's rude. Dude, they just time-walked you. Oh. What do they got here? A changeling? Good thing we're not playing that sliver, Lord. No, that guy's real good, though. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, you get a counter. <laughs> Holy crap. He gets real big. Hmm. Well... Here we go. Can't not play things. But if he attacks and we draw black, we can just go murderous compulsion. That'll get him. That would definitely get him. He'd be dead. Were you reading that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to block because my creature's only a 2 2 and there's a 3 3. I mean, if only that thing were actually true. <laughs> get real big that's what she said maybe <laughs> who knows look at the top two cards of your life one of them in your hand and the other in your graveyard you got it that's madness correct this too you know mm-hmm Dude, you know be so great right now? What? A, a swamp. 
I agree with you. So that's how we're going to draw Jungle Hollow. Yeah. Yeah. It's like seven here. It's a lot. You play Eldrazi Monument. It's true. I don't think it's very good here. You know what would be great with Eldrazi Monument? What? That red enchantment that pumps out uh, goblins. One one goblins. Flame shot. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll just take nine. Would you happen to know a place where I could get a VPN and say, oh, 60 forever? I don't think Kerwood would, but I, I, I could help. If you're looking for a VPN and a sweet deal at 68% off plus one free month, you can check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore. That's my name. Uh. Excuse me. Or don't. It's your life. Just play that ghost quarter. <laughs> Why are you like this? It's fixing. It's not. You can use it to destroy one of your own lands. Wow. But I've already basically destroyed one of my own lands by playing a colorless land. You can trade two lands in for one particular land. That sounds particularly bad. Wait, would you get two lands in that case? No, because... Doesn't Ghost Quarter give you a land? No, you're thinking of Field of Ruin. Oh, okay. Ghost Quarter never gave you a land, which why I was never a big fan of it. I'm like, I don't want to... Well, I guess if you're killing their land, it's still one for one, but... No, Ghost Quarter's never one for one because it gives them a land. Right. Yeah, it sucks. I hate Ghost Quarter. It's a necessary evil, basically. You tricked that Ophinity bot. <laughs> what? He uh, he only asked about the VPN. <laughs> so Ophinity would fuck. Ophinity might be a bot. It's really hard to say. Zaichi, yeah, I'm at his place. Oh, a nice little... I think we're just playing Thorn here. Let's let's monarch it up. Mm. 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 Get them cards. I love it. Are they going to force a will? They're like, let me read this. Oh, dang, they're the monarch. The monarch! I was literally going to say someone mentioned Eldrazi Monument in chat, so we're probably going to draw it. And then we drew it, and I felt extremely uncomfortable. -na -na -na. That's super weird, right? Because someone said, Eldrazi Monument is in your land pile, and I'm like, oh, great, you, you mentioned it, so now we're going to draw it. And then we drew it, and I was like, uh... I don't know how... I, I wish I said it, because the, the level of discomfort I have from that happening is so high. But since I didn't say it, and I'm only saying that I thought it, like... Oh god, it's so disconcerting, dude. I, you didn't make me uncomfortable. The 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 drawing the Eldrazi monument made us uncomfortable. I am an organic just like you. How else would I know how to sus how sustenance such as pizza tastes? It tastes like description not found. <laughs> You're a shitty robot if you don't have a description for pizza. Look, search the internet. Alright, what does this thing do? Get to, like, Shroud? Target creature can't block it. Sure. Well. You can make it so it can't attack. I could. I kind of want to attack myself, though. Hmm. I kind of do have to put a thing on this, unfortunately. Because otherwise it's just like no block, no block, no block. And then they... And then they get their things going. Alright, we're just going to play Bonds on you, I guess. I don't like it, but... Imagine you accidentally played Bonds on a, on a Changeling. Bonds on a changeling? Oh, and then I'm just... <laughs> just gets plus two, plus two. That would be so sad. Oh. Uh, like bouncing their own guy. Weak. That's wild. I mean, they can't recast it this turn. That'll teach him. That'll learn him. This guy have fire breathing? Dang it. Oh. 
Old Slavey D. That's right. <laughs> Slavey D. Oh, boy. You got too many? You got Mana Leak? Yeah, you do. Oh, you don't? Okay. Okay. Oh, they just lost. Basically dead. Slavey D. Easy as one, two, three. Does the, uh... Does the monarch thing have a way for it to transfer by itself, or do they have to actually play a card? No, they have to deal combat damage. Oh. If they deal combat to damage to us, they become the monarch. I see. GG goes a wallet. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage if we monument here. I think we're going to sail back here. At instant speed. And then we'll keep up Monument for Pegasus Sliver for next turn. Oh, that would have been that would have been a good card to play there. That's unfortunate. Oh, you don't have any humans. Yeah, but it just gets another body on the board. Sure. One more mana efficient. We got Monument. Mm -hmm. You know, come on. You know. <laughs> just like real Monarchs, if you deal combat damage to one, you become the Monarch. Everybody knows that. That's true. The slave VD just needs some antibiotics and it should clear up in about a week or two. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know what they say. God, they have the exact amount of mana they need. It's very frustrating. Can I go to combat? Never. You got it. All right. Well, you get to be the monarch now, but then I get to be the monarch. Boo earns. Are those people saying boo or boo earns? I was saying boo earns. Ooh. Oh, piece it is just scooped. And it's a lot of damage. I mean, this is 16 damage. And we get to be the monarch again. Bam. I'm so monarchical. Bam. Murderous. Co oh, dang it. I just, I just named the card. Oh, man. Coalition Honor Guard makes it so he can't target anything can't. other than that for an unblockable. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty good. Okay, they play the land. Too bad he's already dead. He just doesn't know it yet. Capture Sphere on that guy. Sure, so you're doing five, six, seven, eight. So I go to half my life. Team or Battle Rage on this guy deals 12, and then this guy would be four. Tier of Battle Rage would be actually insane and it would kill us. Deals three damage to this. Okay. Goes to. <sighs> cool. Yep. Ooh. Must be nice to have a double strike card exactly when you need it. Did you see this one yet? No, it wasn't. This is exactly how I feel. Are you excited for the Grand Finals this weekend? Is that like the Pro Tour? No, the Pro Tour became the Players Tour. I thought it became the Mythic Championship. That was split into the Mythic Invitational and Players Tour. It wasn't the Rivals League? Rivals League is different. Then when is the World Championship? The Grand Finals is like the World Championship. Isn't that this weekend? Yes. So how do you qualify for all these things? Please make it stop. This is exactly how I feel about competitive play. I have literally no idea what's going on at any given time. 
And it's directly led to my disinterest in qualifying or competing at any sort of higher level. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Remember that time they had the exact double strike card they needed to kill us? Yes. That was good times. You ever just get a case of the hot poops? Yeah, my case just arrived yesterday. Looking forward to unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I hope you get one of those rare hot poops. I hope you get one of the chase poops. Yeah. yeah. Those chase corn kernels. Dude, imagine if you got one of the signed hot poops. That would be sick. Who signs it? The food? I don't know. Okay. I think the poop artist signs it. Seems good. Who, who is that? Well, that's good. A third turn champion of the parish with no land. Dusted Yab sleeping in their extra room. Just a box with no windows. Oh, good. Wow, this is perfect. Turn two, you have this to kill my guy. Turn three, you have this to kill my guy. Oh, I guess turn turn three and turn four, my bad. Totally off. Totally. I'm a, I'm a big, dumb idiot. Nothing to play. You could prevent all combat damage. Look at these dogs over here. They're doujin. They're living their best life. What do you think that is? I think it's a concession because we literally can't hit land drops. <laughs> so that's cool. Are there any leather things and whips in there? Maybe. There's a closet I didn't open. Yeah, you can check. You can check my leather uh, things and whip closet. The spare room slash bondage storage. Do I sleep in the nude like Mike B? Uh, I don't know how Mike B does it, but no. I sleep in an oxygen tent. That gives me sexual powers. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's true, though. I have I have heard that. And I'm, but, I, but by that, I mean he's very audible about it, so. <laughs> you sleep in Mike B. How do I tag like a there it is all right cool what about michael b are you guys talking about michael b still beer man our beer man man sleeps inside of michael b like a like a tauntaun apparently that's wild he smells worse on the inside and i thought they smelled bad on the outside. Got him. That's from that's from Han Solo. But what are you gonna do? Is I it Luke Skywalker? I, no, I think it came from the Star Trek movie. Oh. I mean I know Luke was the one who was in the Tonda, but was there a point? I feel like the voice it re, the voice reminds me of Han. No, it was Han Solo. But were they both inside? No. But then it was just Luke then. Luke was the only one that went in the Tauntaun. I don't remember. It was Luke. What do I look like? Star Wars? Do I look like a Star War to you? A little bit, yeah. Okay, fine. I mean, I think it's your sexual rejuvenation chamber, right? It doesn't rejuvenate. It increases. <laughs> well, you know what they say. They spooned each other inside the Tauntaun? I mean, when you only got one Tauntaun. Well, how many Tauntauns do you think you need? Well, ideally, you'd have one tauntaun per person. Yeah, I guess you're right. Or like a king size tauntaun. Wow, that's really the dream, isn't it? Yeah. Remember back in the '80s when they used to have those water tauntauns? No one does. No one remembers. I used to have one of those. You didn't. What is this? A 4-4 four, four for 5. As long as you control 8 or more lands, it's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Hmm. 
You ever tried one of those memory foam tauntauns? <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> oh, Kerwin and I had some banging bagels for breakfast. That was pretty fun. I had a good time. I had a good bagel in time. Oh. Not okay. <laughs> Not okay. That's a boo urns right there. That's a real boo urns. Do you toast your bagel? I sure do. I think the only people that don't toast bagels are Torst. like New Yorkers. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they just do it so they can look down on other people who do toast them. Purple Tauntauns, yeah. They're also it's also spelled T A U N, not T O N. Come on, nerds. What are you gonna do? Frank Star Wars Dictionary Lapore here. Uh Do you think they got a trick here? Of course they do. Wow. Oh, they do. Good for them. Maybe it'll be like that last guy and they'll just play like a a flash creature for no reason. Wow. Reckless spite. Kills two guys, you lose five life. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm just going to kill her whole board, right? Get him. Kill this idiot. Maybe I'll just play... Let's play Honor Guard first. This guy can get Sunlance next turn. Watch, it's going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. They're going to flip it, and I'm going to feel real stupid about not <laughs> Sunlancing it. That's my prediction. Get lanced. I had a boil once that got lanced. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> just like... That was a cool story, bro. I'm just going to take it so they can flip their 7-7. Seven, seven. What would our our oh wars God, names be? Here we go. I mean, I guess it would be the same name. This is this is it. Are you ready? Oh. What does it do? Oh. <sighs> feels Batman. Did you just say it feels Batman? That's right. Frank, what would your Star Wars name be? It was a land. Obi Frank Nobi. Yeah. I nailed it. I mean, there's still seven. Has anyone ever told me I sound like John H. Benjamin? No, they have not. He didn't bounce anything. He just flipped this guy because it was a it was a manifest. Or did they bounce something? Oh, they did. Interest oh, it was a swamp, so that's fine. Yeah, it would have a counter. A counter, not counters. It's very quiet in here. I know, it's because no one's talking. You know how it works. No talking means no sound. Uh, sure. You got it. Maybe he can deal one damage to himself. Now he's got to shoot this guy. Right? Apparently oh, he I guess not. he has to go. Choosing targets. Oh. oh, this is... It's not an activated ability. It's a triggered ability. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Touche. Not a land. Oh, unflinching courage. We'll put it on here. Put it on here. This guy, though they double block, they still kill this guy. Seems bad. And we only get to kill one guy. Put it on here. They double block. We get to kill one guy. That'll teach him. I think I'm just going to pass. You should cast Sunlance from your graveyard. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Unfortunately. That is not the thing. What are you gonna do? What are they gonna do? Buddy? Nothing. You got me. I 
Okay, all your guys are big. Yep, that's a thing, alright. Okay, we're having a good time. Four, five, six, seven. Well, we can cast everything in our deck now. Fingers crossed that this guy doesn't die. I'm just gonna play my land in case we want to let that Okiba Gang Shinobi come through. Yeah, it'll get him. <laughs> well, I just don't want to have to not block and then discard my land. And then draw my 5-5 five, five machine. Oh, good. Oh, goody. I'm double blocking because they obviously have something here, so... Maybe it's... It's gonna be plus three, plus three, and I'm gonna feel real stupid, but... I guess if it's plus three, plus three... Yeah, it's exactly plus three, plus three, so... Boo. At least we don't take one here, so that's fine. Another triggered ability. Well, at least we gained life. It's fucking infuriating. Yep. Seems good. Close game. Sure is not that. I mean, they had tricks both times they needed tricks. They've drawn not mono removal. And they made us discard our last two cards. So, I don't know. Yep. <laughs> so we take nine, we go to two, and then we have to draw fucking three removal spells. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you feel any sort of sympathy for these trash games. And uh, I'll see you next time.